of them now. OK, great. So we showed a SQL database that is both horizontally scalable and self-healing. So for many of you, that might be a first. But as promised, I wanted to make sure we showed something that had definitely never been seen before. And to do that, let's bring Mark back out. So welcome, Mark. All right. Great work, guys. So far, so good. Now, you did say that uh, to really blow this out and take it to the next level, you were thinking we would do this on a lot of clouds. Now, when it comes to having a lot of clouds, the one person I always know I can count on is Brad Topol. He has a reputation of bringing a lot of clouds to the summit every year. Definitely. So, Brad, where can we get a lot of clouds to run this on? Because I don't see any out here. I'm looking around. They're a few minutes late, they're on the way. They're going to come. OK. You promised me clouds. A lot of clouds. OK. All right. So we're, oh, wow. All right, Brad has delivered. <laughs> It looks like we, we've got our clouds here. So, so, Brad, what are we actually looking at here? Why do we have all these computers out here? And, and the operators are showing up uh, as we speak. Yeah, so one of the things that we did in OpenStack Barcelona was the interop challenge and brought out lots of folks and showed some interoperability. And so we were thinking, well, what are we going to do to top that? What could we do for phase two? And we went to the community and said, hey, what's interesting? You know, what, what should we look at? And the feedback we got from the community was, why don't you look at uh, using Kubernetes? Why don't you look at using NFV workloads? So we started getting uh, the folks working in those areas. And then my good friend Mark uh, turned to me and said, hey, you know, why don't we crank it up a notch? Why don't we look at maybe and just not working with one ecosystem with Kubernetes? Why don't you see if you can work with CockroachDB? And you know, maybe you ought to try this CoreOS image instead and see if that breaks stuff. And, <laughs> put this all together. So thank you, Mark, for uh, taking it up a notch and getting my stress level through the roof. Sure. Well, we, we like to live dangerously here on the, the OpenStack Summit live stage. So yep. I appreciate you and everybody who worked so hard to get, to get ready for this, to show, show off how we can run the same code on every single cloud. Is that, the, is that the deal? Absolutely. So what we have in OpenStack is a project called RefStack. And that's a, a conformance project where everyone runs the same tests to make sure that uh, everything is interoperable. Now, one of the things that we like to do, in addition to everyone up here running these tests, is we like to prove it holistically with an end-to-end -end solution where we do an automated deployment as part of that effort. We have everybody running the same Ansible playbook scripts. Uh, those, those scripts are all available publicly to everyone to go review in our repository. So between the RefStack project and, and getting everybody to have the courage to come up here on stage with live clouds, uh, we go after this and see what happens. All right. Well, I think it's time for us to say, operators, start your clouds. <laughs> so everyone is going, to, uh, is going to start deploying this script. And uh, as Brad said, it's the exact same script that they're all running across every one of these clouds. We have 15 clouds from all over the world. And as they get started, I'm just going to jump out here and, uh, and start putting them on the spot and asking them hard questions. What do you think? Should we do it? All right. We're going to go with Sousa first. So I'm going to go down here and, uh, and take a look at what's going on. So what's, what's your name, and what are, you, what are we looking at here on your screen? Roman from Sousa. So we're going through the initial bootstrapping process right now. Mostly it's key provisioning, uh, security rules. So we're, we're looking good. OK. So, so things, are, things are off to a good start with Sousa. So uh, I think we should maybe uh, talk to NetApp for a minute. They're, they're down here, and uh, I think they might have, have some progress to show. Why don't you tell us what we're looking sure. at here? Hey, Mark. So my name is Samit. And so we're going through the deployment script right now. But if I switch over to the Horizon dashboard, I can see that my security groups are, have already been created, and the volumes have been provisioned, and they are attached to the instances running. Now, once this script is done, we should also be able to bring up our Kubernetes dashboard and see the different paths running. OK. And what country is your cloud running in? So it's located in RTP North Carolina, so in the United States. In the United States. OK, very cool. Is there anybody here whose cloud is not in the United States? Show of hands. All right, very cool. Easy stack. Why don't we, why don't we go down here and find out where their cloud might be located? Yeah, hello, I'm Chen, and uh, uh, our host is uh, located in China. OK, in China. Very mm -hmm. good. We have, a, we have an incredible uh, community of OpenStack contributors in China. Yeah. Many of them are here today. Yeah. So it's great to have you on the stage. Thank you. Thank you very much. OK, so we've, we've taken a look at the, uh, at the different 
steps we've, we're going through here, but why don't we look at the version? So is anybody running Newton? That was a pretty hot release. Okay, we've got some, some people running Newton. So uh, why don't we go down here to Vexhost and see what, what you're working on right now? Uh, so Mohammed from Vexhost, uh, right now what it's doing is actually installing all of the uh, Kubernetes binaries, okay. uh, which means in the next few minutes the Kubernetes cluster is going to be up um, and we'll be able to have a look at the dashboard. Okay. Uh, and a cool fact that this is actually running on our production cloud, uh, so this is the same production cloud that our customers are using. Okay, uh, you're a bold man. Material. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Just doing it live on your, your production cloud your customers are using. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this is the same environment that our customers are using, and this is just a small little demo. It should should Very be cool. hard on it. Very cool. Okay, well, why don't, why don't we see who's, who's on the bleeding edge and who might be running Okada. Anybody? Canonical. Canonical. <laughs> the proud orange shirt. <laughs> Beaut I meant to say beautiful. <laughs> yeah, so we're running uh, Ubuntu OpenStack Okata uh, deployed with Juju and Maz on the OpenStack Charms project. Uh -huh. uh, we've got uh, the cluster coming up now, and uh, pretty soon we'll have a, a, a uh, Kubernetes pod with CockroachDB running in that. So okay. you've got Juju, Maz, OpenStack, Ansible, all sorts of tooling involved. This is a great, great effort. Composing all the open source things, huh? That's very cool. So I know that one of the goals here is to get to having the Kubernetes dashboard up. Is anybody, anybody ready to show that? Not yet? Oh, here we go. Rackspace. <laughs> All right. I think everyone knows you, but why don't you introduce yourself anyway? Hi, I'm Agnes Ziegler, and I work at Rackspace. I just finished deploying our cluster on our private cloud, and Kubernetes dashboard is up with master and three workers. Wow. OK, very good. Awesome, Igla. All right, so Spencer, I know that you showed us what the power of uh, CockroachDB is, is, you know, unfortunately named as it may be, it does seem to be <laughs> hard to kill, you say. So I think we need to put this to the test. Do you mind if a few of our clouds here join your cluster? Well, you know, the more the merrier. It's supposed to scale. Let's see if it does. Okay, so we're looking at, at the cluster that you, that you uh, deployed earlier, and now we're going to see uh, who we can go to to have them join it. Why don't we start with IBM? Tong here has done a ton of work to pull this off. So Tong, why don't we go take a look at what you're doing and tell us about it. Absolutely. Now I'm showing the uh, Kubernetes dashboard. You can see that I don't have any pods. Right. Now I'm going to switch to the console. If I run this command, I should have four nodes up running, four pods up running, and eventually join that uh, big cluster. OK. So on the left screen here, we've got Spencer's cluster where we're looking at the live nodes and you're in a, in, a, in a different cloud spinning up the same workload and you're going to try to jump in on the fun and join his cockroach cluster. Let's see what happens. Right. It's only take a few seconds, 10 seconds. There it is. And Blue Mix. We've got the, uh, <laughs> the new nodes. Yeah, so we have, uh, we have four new nodes now from uh, IBM. You can see it's already rebalancing. It's moved. You can see now they're up all about 13 or 14 replicas. That will continue until there's an even spread of uh, replicas across all of the nodes now in the cluster. Very cool. OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick another, another uh, volunteer, as they say, at random. Uh, why don't we go with Open Telecom Cloud? Is that uh, the wrong time? The wrong time. <laughs> OK. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, Egla volunteered, and I missed, missed that. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm just running this live right now, and uh, hopefully in a couple seconds we'll see the nodes up. Uh, I think it, they displayed the cockroach. Okay, we're refreshing. Panel. Hopefully we'll show Rackspace nodes up. I, ha I share your hopes and dreams. <laughs> uh, it, it, my screen says that everything worked fine, so hopefully that's the case. <laughs> there it is, Rackspace. Awesome. Very nice. <laughs> All right. And Open Telecom Cloud, I, I jumped the gun on that, but you're ready to go now. Yeah, hi there. So I'm, I'm ready to run the same command as Tong and Eichler did. So I'm going to join the CockroachDB cluster. So um, you can see here that um, this is the Kubernetes dashboard with all my nodes. And um, I do not, ha um, yes, I'm currently joined uh, uh, the pod. Okay. And yeah, all, all the nodes are running in our public cloud in, in Germany. And um, yeah, this is a public cloud, and this is our production environment. So no demo. Wow. This is live. 
So you and Vexos are both just uh, just going live on the production right here on the public yeah, cloud. Definitely, and it worked. And it worked. Okay, and there it is, Open Telecom <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> wow. So so this is pretty amazing. This is the the promise. Uh, this is what you promised me, Spencer. So it seems to be working. Well, if anybody else wants to go ahead and join the cockroach cluster, go ahead and do it now. And Spencer will, will tell us more about why this is pretty awesome for users. Yeah, this is not just um, an incredibly cool demo, which <laughs> it is. Um, it's also actually what uh, more and more people that are trying to use Cockroach now are looking for. They're trying to build global data architectures. Right? So they're going to be using clouds in all kinds of regions around the globe in order to satisfy a global customer base. And so you know, having Kubernetes running in each of those on top of OpenStack and uh, running the Cockroach nodes is, is clearly something that works. So we're demonstrating that. And I think that's a use case you're going to see more of. Right, so if, you're, if, you're, if you care about your data, you probably want it replicated. You might want it in different countries. You might want it across different providers. And by putting this whole open uh, cloud stack together, an infrastructure stack, we've actually got the ability to do that across multiple open stack clouds, multiple uh, you know, Kubernetes running on top, and Cockroach. So this is pretty amazing. I want to start to uh, for a minute here and just thank everyone who worked so hard to pull this off. So great job, everybody. And uh, if we look, if we look up, up oh, okay, we'll move, move on to the, the award ceremony. <laughs> All right, so to thank everyone, we did, we did get everyone a trophy for being part of this awesome thing. And it, it's not one of those participation trophies. This is because you made it work. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to start by giving Brad his. Right. And uh, everyone else will we'll get you yours that, uh, backstage. But thank That's you it. so much. Thank you. All right. Ready? Good. Great job. Great job, y'all.